Hey guys, Dr. Butts here coming with another fantastic chemistry video. And today, I'm going to talk about cycloalkanes. Cycloalkanes are just like regular alkanes, only cyclical. And of course, they have two less hydrogens. Remember, the formula for alkanes was CN2N plus 2. For cyclic alkanes, it's just 2N because when you bring the two ends of an alkane together, you have to lose two hydrogens to accommodate for the bond. So, this is an example of a cycloalkane. That's cyclopropane. It has three carbons in the chain, making a circular pattern or a triangular, triangular pattern in this case. This is cyclopropane. Notice C3H6, regular propane, is C3H8 and looks like this, right? Get it a little better. There you go. Ah, that's too many. There we go. <laughs> Try again. Here we go. There we go. That's a little cleaner. Okay. The cyclobutane, cyclopentane, uh, cyclohexane, cycloheptane. Now, by far the more most common ring systems we see in nature are pentane and hexane. But the other ones do exist. They do exist. There's probably examples of every, every cyclical uh, molecule out there from the extraordinarily large all the way down to cyclopropane. Okay? Now, let's learn a little bit more about them. How to name them. When you're naming a cycloalkane, the alkyl group attached to the cycloalkane will be named as an alkyl group. So this is an ethyl group right here, right? And this is cyclopentane. Now, when only one alkyl group is present on that ring system, you don't need to number it. So this is not one ethyl cyclopentane. Nope. This simply, 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 simply is just ethyl cyclopentane. ethyl cyclopentane. All right? Very simple. Now, what do you do if you have cyclohexanes that contain two substituents? So, for example, here. Well, you always want to have the lowest numbers, just like when you're naming regular alkenes, okay? You always want to have the lowest numbers. So, here we could number them this way. One, two, three. That's potentially right. Or you could number them this way. One, two, three, four, Five. If we use the purple numbers, it would be one comma five dash dimethyl cyclohexane. If we use the green numbers, it would be one comma three dash dimethyl cyclohexane. Now what you do is you look to see which one has the lower numbers. Now, they both are describing the same thing. They're describing this, but this is incorrect. Why is it incorrect? Because the numbers are bigger. This one has the smaller numbers. It is correct. Remember, you always want to have the lowest numbers. Now, let's go over here. This is 3-ethyl. 1,1-dimethyl cyclohexane. Now, notice the ethyl would normally be the number one. It would normally be the number one carbon in this molecule because ethyl has a higher, what they call, priority. Now, in this case, ethyl was given the number three because th there's two methyls on the same carbon, and that will give us a 1,1 one, one situation. Okay? It's just about keeping the numbers lower. But notice ethyl came first because E comes before M in the alphabet. So ethyl always comes first in, in, in front of methyl, I should say, even though the number three uh, is bigger than one. So it's always, the, it's always the substituent's name, not the number that's associated with it. All right. Now, rings can also have geometric isomers. They can have cis and trans. Here's an example of a cis ring system where the cyclohexane has two methyl groups coming off and they're both facing up. And there's also 
hydrogen's coming down like that. Now this is a cis dash one comma two dash dimethyl cyclohexane. All right, now this one here, this bottom one, that one is one dash ethyl, oh, pardon me, excuse me, this is a trans. Now let's see why. There's a hydrogen here, and then there's a hydrogen here. So the hydrogens are on opposite sides. So this is a trans situation. One ethyl dash two methyl cyclohexane. Okay. All right, now that's where we'll end this video. And when we come back, we'll talk about the stability of the cycloalkanes. They are very, very interesting in their stability. They're not all equal. I'll give you a little hint. Now with that, I want to wish you all good luck and good chemistry. We'll see you next time.